14 Brain Damaging Habits You Should Quit There are 86 billion, that's the number of cells your brain has, without a doubt. The sloppy mass between your ears is controlling your body like nothing else. It's high time for all of us to understand a simple fact movement is good. It releases endorphins that make us feel better, keeps our hearts healthy, and make our brains work better. How to fix it? Now the question is how to fix those issues. I am not telling you to hit the gym or hire a trainer, but at least you should do. 20-30 minutes of movement is all you need. The popular 10,000 step rule is also a great goal to gun for. If you are thinking I don't have the time, you are lying to yourself. Before that I would request you, please subscribe our channel and like as well as share this video so that we can bring you more knowledgeable videos for you. 1. The killer of concentration. The amount of information we go through on an average day is surprising. The average American consumes about 34 gigabytes of data and information each day, an increase of about 350% over nearly three decades as per University of California. This includes emails, social media, talking to people, notifications, meetings, and much more. If we don't manage our consumption better, it can easily lead to overwhelm and information overload. Eliminate useless things like social media, news, gossip, and other things that you can't control or have nothing to do with you. 2. Excessive thinking Excessive sitting during work makes us hold our breath as we type on our computers. You can notice this yourself. This leads to lower oxygen in the body and consequence muddy thinking, fatigue, and poor focus. It is linked to psychological problems like depression and anxiety disorders, which is very dangerous to your brain as well as body. 3. Blasting loud music, whether it's working out, walking, or doing a mundane task like answering email. All of us crave some nice music and to immerse ourselves in our favorite melodies, we invariably turn the volume up. However, you might want to think hard before doing that. With the popular use of noise-canceling earphones, you can easily damage your hearing. When your ears get used to a certain volume, you need to put in more effort to hear the normal sounds of those around you. Thus, you can't store things in your memory fast enough. Remove your headphones while listening and hold them at arm's length. If you can still hear the music, turn it down and repeat. This is a good check to keep protect your ears. Also take regular breaks if you have to listen to music and give a much needed rest to your brain and ears. 4. Watching reality shows. The truth is reality TV is junk food for our brain. And in the same way that junk food rots our teeth and makes us sick, that reality TV rots our brain and makes us rude. Says psychiatrist D.R. Marcia Sirota, when you walk out of a theater after watching, you naturally feel righteous, selfless, and even patriotic. Now imagine conditioning your brain with the trashy content in reality shows. Over a period of time, we imbibe within us the same emotions and qualities we see on screen. I can intuitively know a lot about you by the kind of content you watch because it has a significant effect on our consciousness, mood, and behaviors. 5. Skip off your breakfast. People who do not take breakfast are going to have a lower blood sugar level. But did you know breakfast provides 30% energy to the body in the whole day and it also leads to an insufficient supply of nutrients too? The brain causing brain regeneration. 6. Overreacting. It causes hardening of the brain arteries, leading to a decrease in mental power. It is described as an intense feeling in response to feeling frustrated, hurt, disappointed, or threatened. You can talk to your doctor to get a blood test may also take a blood or urine sample to check your hormone level. This will help them learn if you have a hormonal imbalance because hormone imbalance can lead to overreacting. Seven. Smoking, it causes multiple brain shrinkage and may lead to Alzheimer's disease as per National Institutes of Health.
Then nicotine in cigarettes changes your brain, which leads to withdrawal symptoms when you try to quit. When this happens, you may experience a variety of side effects including anxiety, irritability, and a strong craving for nicotine. 8. Sleep Deprivation The brain is the largest oxygen consumer in our body. Inhaling polluted air decreases the supply of oxygen to the brain, bringing about a decrease in brain efficiency. 9. Working with Brian during illness, working hard or studying with sickness may lead to a decrease in the effectiveness of the brain. Many possible symptoms can result, including unusual behaviors, emotional problems, trouble communicating, difficulty with work, or difficulty with walking. 10. Talking rarely and sparing time alone, intellectual conversations will promote the efficiency of the brain. Humans are wired for social contact. It's not about how many Facebook friends you have. What matters is a real sense of connection. People who have that with even just a few close friends are happier and more productive. They are also less likely to suffer from brain decline and Alzheimer's. If you feel alone, call some friends or start something new dancing, yoga, tennis and other work activities bridge that involves other people. 11. Multitasking Research has also found that the people who multitask have less density in the anterior cingulate cortex, a region responsible for empathy and cognitive and emotional control. In a sense, the more you multitask, the more you damage your brain, prioritize your life to only focus on the essential. The fear of not completing our to-do list is the reason behind our multitasking habit. The solution isn't to work more, the solution is to chip the list short and only keep what matters once you do that. You'll no longer feel the pressure to do 10 different things at one time. 12. High Sugar Consumption Sugar consumption can lead to a spike in blood sugar levels and create abnormal blood flow patterns in the brain. Excessive sugar consumption can also lead to oxidative stress which in turn leads to moods, depression, poor memory, low concentration, and slower thinking. To control your sugar intake, I do suggest journaling your food choices for a day or two since sugar is so pervasive. It can end up in your mouth before you know it. By being extra vigilant, checking labels, and even avoiding processed food, you'll be off to a good start. 13. Eating too much gen food Parts of the brain linked to learning, memory, and mental health are smaller in people who have lots of hamburgers, fries, potato chips, and soft drinks in their diet, berries, whole grains, nuts and green leafy vegetables, on the other hand, preserve brain function and slow mental decline. So next time you start to reach for a bag of chips, grab a handful of nuts instead. 14. Like to stay in the dark If you don't get enough natural light, you may get depressed and that can slow your brain. Research also shows that sunlight helps keep your brain working well as new research by Michigan State University found that spending too much time in darker rooms can change your brain and make it harder to remember and it also found bright lights can boost you more than your mood, making it easier to retain information. Final thoughts, these were some of the overlooked habits that are hurting your brain in the long run at one point. I was probably indulging in all of the above, but after cutting back, I find myself more productive, less moody, and much happier along with them. Don't forget the basics of good brain healthy such as good diet, sleep, drinking enough water, etc. I would like to request you please keep watching our video, share and like this video so that we can bring you more knowledgeable videos for you.